juga. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Duga. How are you? Fine, you? Good, fine too. Okay, thank you. Hello, class. Hello, sir. Hello, class. Hello, sir. How are you? We are fine. Thank you. Thank you. I'm great. I'm happy to be in your school. Are you happy to see me in your school? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. I want you to show me that you're happy to see me. Thank you, thank you. So today we're going to learn English and we're going to use a song. Can you tell me the title of the song? The title of the song is Of a King by Ada. Okay, so the song we're going to use for our English program is I Came by Ada. So first we're going to listen to the song okay. and after that we're going to follow the lesson. Okay, no problem. So viewers are at here too, I invite you to follow the song.
Thank you for watching viewers at RTI2. That was I hope they came by Ada. I hope that you are taking pleasure in this song. Have you liked the song? Yes. Have you liked the song? Yes. I want you to clap for Ada. Thank you. Right, we now go for the first lesson of our English program, I mean, the word and expression. And for that, we give the floor to Mr. Traore. Mr. Traore. So, Mr. Traore, you have the floor for the first lesson. Okay, class, after listening the song by Ada A, which word did you find difficult from the text? To overcome. Good. Now, class, what is the meaning of overcome? What is the meaning of to overcome? To summon an obstacle. Good. Who can give an example with to overcome? Class. It was difficult, but we overcame in the end. Good. A clap of her. Now, after to overcome, which word did you find difficult from the text? After to overcome, which word is? Which word is? Yes. To stay alive. Good. Now, class, what does to stay alive mean? What does to stay alive mean? Yes. Good. A clap of her. Again. Good. Now we can give an example with to stay alive. An example, class. An example to stay alive. Yes, you. The Lord is alive. Can you repeat again? The Lord is alive. A clap of her. Again, good. After to stay alive, which word did you find difficult from the text? After to stay alive. Yes, you. Take the mic. The mountain. Can you, speak, can you repeat again? The mountain. Again. The mountain. Good. Now, class, what is the meaning of the mountain? The mountain means an elevation of a very size of land. A clap of him, class. Again. Good. Now we can give an example with the mountain. An example. Yes, you. With the faith, you can move mountain. Excellent. A clap of her. Again. Good. Now after the mountain, which word did you find difficult from the text? Yes, you. To come late. Good. Now, class, what is the meaning of to come late? Yes, you. To come late means to arrive after the precise time. A clap of him. Again. Now, who can give an example with to come late? An example. Wave to come late, class. You raise your hand, please. No one to answer to my question. Okay. Today I am late at school. A clap for him. Again. Excellent. Now after to come late, who can give another word that he find difficult from the text? Yes, you. To be alive. Again. To be alive. Good. Now, class, what does to be alive mean? Yes, you. Take the mic. To be alive means to have life. A clap of him. Again. Now, we can give a sentence or an example with to have life. Yes, you. The Lord is alive. Again. The Lord is alive. A clap of her. Again. Good. Now, after that word, we can give another word difficult from a song. Another word. Yes, you. Sickness. Sorry? Sickness. Good. 
What does sickness mean? Sickness. Uh huh. Yes, you. The state of being sick. Good. Now, which word did you find difficult from the text? After sickness. After sickness, another word. Yes, you. The sickness insurance. Okay. Now we can give an example with the two words, sickness and sickness insurance. An example. Yes, you. All the villagers were soft from a strong sickness. Can you repeat again your example? All the villagers were soft from a strong sickness. A clap of her. Again. Good. Which word is the different difficult from the song? Uh-huh. You. Badly. Again? Badly. Good. What is the meaning of badly? The meaning of badly. Yes, you. Badly means with confidence. Can you repeat again? Badly means with confidence. Good. Now we can give an example with badly. Class. Yes, you. I'm bound of God badly. A clap of her. Again. Good. Thank you, Mr. Traore, for the lesson. Class? You are welcome, Mr. Duga. Stand up, class. Yeah, I want you to give a standing ovation to your teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Sit down. While we were out there, to, after the difficult word, John from the lyrics, I will come back at that. We're now going to translate the song into French. I invite you to pay attention to this translation. It's very important. Translation. Yahweh came, hallelujah. He won the victory, hallelujah. He said, it's finished. My story is written. Yahweh came. J'ai la victoire, hallelujah. Il a remporté la victoire, hallelujah. Il a dit, tout est accompli. Mon nom y est écrit. J'ai la victoire, hallelujah. Is alive, and because he lives, I live. Hallelujah, Jesus lives, and my future is alive in him. Alléluia, il est en vie, et parce qu'il vit, je vis. Alléluia, Jésus vit, et dans lui, mon avenir est plein d'espoir.
overcame, hallelujah. He won the victory, hallelujah. He said it's finished. My story is written. I overcame. J'ai la victoire, alléluia. Il a remporté la victoire, alléluia. Il a dit, tout est accompli. Mon nom y est écrit. J'ai la victoire, alléluia. Say to the mountains, I overcame. Say to the problem, you came too late. Tell the sickness, I already won. Declaring boldly, I'm born of God. Dis aux obstacles, j'ai la victoire. Dis aux problèmes, j'ai déjà la victoire. Dis à cette maladie, j'ai déjà la victoire. Déclare avec foi, je suis né de Dieu. said it's finished my story is written i overcame il a dit tout est accompli mon nom y est écrit j'ai la victoire alléluia that was the translation of the song into french hope that you're taking pleasure in this translation i really appreciate this song i hope it's so for you What viewers are here too, Mr. Traore? Yes. Yeah, after the lyrics, okay. the word and expression and the translation, mm -hmm. we're now going for another lesson. Okay. Which lesson is it? The title of the lesson is mm -hmm. Active Voice. The Active Voice. Yes. So it is a grammar lesson. Grammar lesson. Okay, viewers are here too. I want you to listen to Mr. Traore for the grammar lesson. Okay, class, in this grammar point, we're talking about active voice. Right? Now I will give you a sentence that is in the active voice and after I will tra transform this sentence into passive voice. Right? Yes, Now here is the active voice sentence. God writes my story. Okay? Active voice. God writes my story. In this sentence, God is the subject, right? Right is the verb. And my story is the complement. Okay? Now, this sentence, if I want to transfer this sentence into the passive voice, it will give, my story is written by God. Okay? So the active one is, God writes my story. And the passive one is, My story is written by God. Okay? Now, after this example, who can give me a sentence in the active voice? An example of sentence. An example of sentence in the active voice. Yes, you. I eat gaba and fish. You clap for her. Again, now who can transform that sentence into the passive voice? So I want to transform a sentence into... Yes, you. The gaba and fish are eaten by Aya. Can you repeat again? The gaba and fish are eaten by Aya. Clap, a clap of him. Again, good. Now, who else can give a sentence in the active voice? Someone else? Daddy watches the TV. A clap of her. Again. 
Now, who is going to transform that sentence into the passive words? Yes. The TV is watched by daddy. A clap of him. Again. Good. Someone else to give a sentence in the active voice. Yes, you. The director congratulates the student. Can you repeat again your sentence? The director congratulates the student. A clap of him. Again. Now we can transform that sentence. The students are congratulated by the director. A clap of her. Again. Good. Now we can give another sentence in the active voice. Another sentence. The teacher writes the lesson. Good. Now we can transform that sentence into the passive voice. A lady. A lady. The lesson is written by the teacher. Good. A clap of her. Again. Again. Now, someone else. Someone else. Boys, where are you? One boy, two boys. Oh, yes. Job goes, Bob. Oh, good. Now we can transform that sentence into the passive voice. John calls Bob. Bob is caught by Job. Clap at her. Thank you, dear children. I was very happy for this grammar lesson. I want you to put again your hand together for your teacher. Thank you, thank you, viewers of RTA2. We're now going for the last part of our English program. And that part is? It is a song. It's a song. So we're going for the show time. And the title of the song is? Holidays. Holidays. Now, Claire, you stand up. Now, you listen to me. The school year is over. Oh, dear friend. The school year yes, is over. We are the hand of today's English program. The aim of this English program is to use song to teach English, and we're today at Freddie Lee's. <laughs> thank you. I'd like to thank Mr. Traoy for the lesson. You're welcome, Mr. Duda. Okay, thank viewers you. are here too. See you next week for another program. Goodbye. 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 This is me, life should be